So I apologize in advance. I'm probably only going to be able to get one video out this week. Uh, I'm glad I got to get my Northman uh, video out last week. But uh, but yeah, probably just one video. I am working on uh, two, two cool videos uh, in particular that I'm excited to do. One is a Michael Haneke ranked. I'm going to be ranking all of his films. I love doing ranks. Uh, or ranked videos, and, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm excited to do this one. And then I'm also working on, this video has been planned for the last year and a half, maybe a little bit longer with my wife, and it's the Alfred Hitchcock video. I think originally it was going to be uh, our top 20 Alfred Hitchcock films. We were going to kind of do it like we did the John Carpenter one, uh, and then I think it turned into like the top 25, but now we've decided we're going to do our top 30 Hitchcock films, and that'll be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to get that out hopefully around the middle of May. Uh, I want to do something cool. Like, I don't want to record it off the webcam or anything. I, I'd actually like to record it um, in a cool way, you know, kind of like the John Carpenter one, but better. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, that one's going to take a little bit of effort, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're watching some more Hitchcock films now as we speak. I actually finished watching uh, uh, Foreign Correspondent today. Uh, and then, of course, Michael Haneke. I'm having so much fun with his filmography. But anyway, guys, that's not why you're here. We're going to be ranking the four VHS films. Now, I have uh, usually at work, I'll listen listen to videos, you know, like rankings, reviews, stuff like that. Uh, basically, just a little bit of everything. For some reason, I think I've only seen just a handful of uh, VHS ranked videos. Um, I, I don't know why there's not more. But I think they're actually making a fifth one. I think it's called VHS 1985 or 84 or something like that, which will be pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for that because I do like the VHS franchise. And uh, this is just my personal ranking. This is just my opinion, so it might differ from yours, but hey, that's okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and get this started. So coming in at number four in last place. Well, not like, I don't know. I don't like to say last place when it comes to rankings because you're really just ranking a series or a filmography or something like that. So, you know, I mean, it could be the filmography is all great, but you got to have a least favorite one. But if I'm being completely honest, uh, VHS viral didn't really hit me as much as the other ones did. Uh, I will give it to this film though. It It is pretty epic in scope in terms of the other ones. I feel like it actually did somewhat take a more blockbuster approach. I, I'm not going to say that that worked for it, uh, but it, it really did try something new. Uh, there were a few stories in particular that were somewhat entertaining, like the skate park one. That one was cool up until a point, uh, and it kind of drug on a little bit. And then uh, the uh, the one where the dude is in like the time machine, I'm pretty sure that's, that's this one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hopefully I didn't get that wrong but I'm pretty sure it's in this one uh, and I thought that one was pretty cool as well I actually recently watched this so I don't know why I would forget that but uh but yeah it I don't know it, it did some cool things but compared to the other ones I don't know I wasn't really that big of a fan I wasn't that invested uh, and this is the shortest one out of all of them and when it comes to anthology films I don't care if they're long as long as each story you know can sort of hold its own because that's the thing that I've noticed about the VHS films. They do show the best stories first, and then sort of like later on, you know, in the movie, they'll show the the ones that are kind of, eh, and I don't know. I, I feel like it, there should be a sort of an even balance to keep me on my toes. But uh, but VHS viral, you know, it it is what it is with it. I, I enjoyed it for what it was, uh, but compared to the other ones, I just I, I couldn't get into this one as much. Coming in in third place, this, this is probably, I don't know, I might piss a few people off with this one, but I'm going to have to go with the original VHS. Now, I I seen this one a little bit ago. I, I believe I seen it on Netflix. Um, and this was, this was, <laughs> this was a while ago. I don't even think I finished it. Um, but the first story with the, uh, the girl and the, the eyes and, you know, she turns into this sort of, I don't know, you, you should, if you haven't seen it yet, if you're watching this to sort of, you know, get an idea for the films. I, I'll try my best not to spoil anything. Uh, but the first story was really good. And the second one with the the honeymoon or the couple, that one was actually pretty pretty cool as well. Uh, it was kind of twisty. And it's directed by Ty West. And I like Ty West. So, uh, but yeah, the, I don't know. This one was, uh, 
it really did start off pretty strong. It, it, like I was saying, it, it, I, I think it started off with its best story, and it was in the in the first story. is it's comical, it's scary, uh, it's got a little bit of everything in that first story, and I actually think they did. Uh, adapt that into a feature length film which I haven't had a chance to see yet but if you guys have had a chance to see it please let me know what you think of it but in third place VHS and I actually enjoy this one so just because it's in third doesn't mean it's bad it's just you know I think the other ones are just a little bit better uh coming in at number two is VHS 2 now I actually debated I the the first one and this one were sort of switching uh you know switching places a little bit for me um uh, so, I wasn't really a big fan of most of the stories in this, if I'm being honest, but the story with the cult uh, in the uh, the facility, that one was awesome. I'm not going to lie. That one was so cool. I could have watched a whole movie of just that. That one kept me engaged. I thought it was interesting. It was bizarre. It, it was very bizarre. It was very bizarre. Some of the stuff that they did with that one was just so cool, so cool. And I mean, the blood, the gore. I mean, this one really did bump it up in terms of quality. I'm not going to lie. In terms of, you know, production design or, or uh, effects, you know, just practical effects, it looked so, so good. Uh, and, like, with these VHS films, uh, each story, uh, the one thing that I can appreciate is you're not going to get the same story twice, at least in each individual film now granted i do think that there is sort of a theme with these films whether it's intentional or not uh because you know you always got the maybe the zombie one or maybe you have the uh the the torture well you know it's just different things like i'm, I'm going to do a really bad job of explaining it so i'm not going to explain it but but yeah that the 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 cult facility one that one was awesome that one was just awesome and it was one of the later ones, so I feel like that that helped a lot. I also did enjoy the one by the uh, by the lake, you know, with the with the uh, I guess it's aliens. That one was pretty cool too. But uh, but yeah, VHS two second place, and coming in at number one, uh, I, I, I'm not wearing rose tinted glasses because I think that VHS ninety four is the best film in this whole entire franchise. I absolutely love this film. I. I enjoyed every story in it. I thought every story was strong. I thought everything was just so, everything was so cool about this film. You know, it was just, it was so cool just seeing like the 90s news reports and, uh, you know, just the, the quality of the camera. Except there was one, which is the one where the dude's making mechanical robots or machines. Uh, and I'll tell you a fun fact in a second. Uh, it, it might be a little embarrassing, but uh, yeah, it, that one was kind of more modern. It looked modern, but I guess who's to say the guy didn't make the camera? I mean, could be. That's why it could be a good uh, good quality. I mean, because it looked like 4K. But uh, uh, yeah. So fun fact about me, I don't get scared a lot in movies. Movies don't. I mean, I I really don't. Unless it's something like psychological or you know like something like The Vanishing or Solo or something like that. It's that that kind of you know kind of irks me a little bit. You know, I'll watch it and be like. Mm -hmm kind of feel weird after watching that especially solo but there's something about steampunk mechanical monsters that just kind of freak me the out i mean really it just i don't know there's just something so terrifying about them to me i, I can't explain it uh the the film frankenstein's army that film scared the shit out of me uh i i don't know what it is i, I have no idea what it is that freaks me out about them but yeah, I mean, I thought that story was a little bit slow at first until it really started to pick up. And then after that, it was like, oh, shit, it all goes downhill from here. Uh, and then the uh, the sewer one, oh, that one was so, so cool. And then the uh, the funeral home one was also awesome. It was. It, I thought the funeral home one was probably the best one in this film. Uh, I also did like the last one with the, the group of people in the snow. Uh, that one was actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I didn't. I couldn't get into it at first, but then like I started to watch things unravel, and I was like, oh wow, they're, that's that's exactly what they're going for. They're doing that. Uh, and and the, when I said what I said about the other ones, when it sort of starts off strong and it kind of gets weaker, uh, you know, with the stories. This one, I mean, I I didn't feel like it had a, a weak story at all. You know, I, I mean, I felt like all of these, all the stories, all the individual stories in this were pretty, pretty good, pretty damn good. So uh, VHS 94, definitely worth the watch. I mean, for the fourth one in the franchise to be my, my personal favorite, uh, I mean, I, I 
think that's crazy, you know? I mean, even the Rotten Tomato score for this, which I don't really go by, you know, scores too often, but, uh, I mean, it's a big jump compared to the other ones, so props to, props to these guys, because they, they did something really cool with this. Um, and I've noticed every single time Shudder sort of gets their hands on something, it's usually, I don't know, I feel like they do a, a pretty good job of it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Uh, like I said, I have some cool videos coming up in the future. So maybe it might be one a week until then. Maybe not. I, I, I'm going to try to get two out this weekend if I can or two, uh, you know, scheduled this weekend um, because I'll definitely do my what I watched in April. Uh, but yeah, I got the, the Michael Haneke and Alfred Hitchcock videos. I'm really excited to do, especially the Alfred Hitchcock video. So please stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, I hope you're staying safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.